Join me today as I dive into the world of computer hardware and put to the test whether a power supply unit, just like this one, really makes a difference in performance. So when it comes to building or upgrading a PC, there's a lot of focus on the CPU, the GPU and the RAM. But one component that is often overlooked is the power supply unit or the PSU. Many people think that as long as the PSU can provide enough wattage, then it's pretty much good to go. But this is a misconception. Sure, wattage is very important, <clears throat> but it's not the only factor. Many users also think that all PSUs are created equal, which simply isn't true either. Some PSUs are built for, with better components, have better efficiency and are designed to last longer. In summary, or essentially, it's the unsung hero of your system. I'm going to start with a fun fact. Did you know that nearly 50% of hardware failures in high performance computers are actually linked to power supply issues? PSU failures are one of the leading causes of unexpected shutdowns and hardware degradation. When discussing system stability and performance, the power supply unit, or PSU, is often overlooked, yet it's fundamental. It converts AC power from the wall into clean, regulated DC power required by your components. A high quality PSU ensures consistent voltage and current delivery. It protects against surges and maintains system efficiency. Simply put, your system is only as stable as the power that it runs on. The truth is, your PSU directly affects the performance and the lifespan of every component in your system. You need to power it safely, efficiently and reliably. A good rule of thumb is to look for 80 plus certifications and a good start is a gold. A PSU, just to give you a bit of background information, must be at least 80% efficient at 20, 50 and 100% load to earn an 80 plus certification. That means if your system is drawing 400 watts, a certified PSU would only pull about 500 watts from the wall, wasting 100 watts as heat. Why does that matter? Higher efficiency equals less um, heat and lower power bills. You also get a more reliable and stable voltage regulation and you get quieter operation because the fans don't have to work as hard. As a general rule, it's better to err on the side of caution um, of higher wattage rather than trying to match your needs exactly. If you've calculated that your system is going to use 500 watts, choosing a PSU with 600 or 650 watt output could be a good option. This will also give you wiggle room to work with and also allow for potential future upgrades. But keep this in mind when it comes to considering higher wattage PSUs. A 750 watt power supply does not consume 70, 750 watts by default. If your system is drawing 500 watts, your power supply will supply 500 watts. There's no real advantage to having a vastly overpowered PSU if your system doesn't need it. So you might be better served selecting a high efficiency PSU that is closer to the wattage you require. So to summarize, the more efficient your PSU, the less power it uses and the less heat it generates. That said, higher efficiency usually means a higher price. So you'll want to find the balance that works for you. I've actually listed a power supply calculator tool in the description for you to take a look at. I haven't been uh, sponsored or endorsed to provide this link. It's just simply one that I find useful. Another critical factor in choosing a PSU is reliability. A good PSU should be able to last for years without failing, but a bad one can fail at any moment, taking your entire system down with it. That's why it's essential to choose a PSU from a reputable manufacturer. You don't want to risk all of your lovely expensive hardware on a cheap PSU. Be sure to also evaluate the PSU's integrated protection mechanisms. So that's things like OVP, over voltage protection or SCP, short circuit protection, as these features are critical for safeguarding sensitive hardware and maintaining reliable system operation. 
As an extra tip, maybe think about plugging in your PSU to a surge protector for an extra layer of safety. In today's day and age, power supplies come in three main cable configurations. You have modular, semi-modular, and non-modular. Modular PSUs offer fully detachable cables, allowing you to connect only what you need. So this helps improve things like airflow and cable management. Semi-modular units have some fixed uh, essential cables. So they have cables like the 24 power pin and the eight pin CPU connector, like this one. Um, you also have non-modular. So these PSUs have all cables permanently attached which can make cable routing more difficult and reduce airflow, especially in smaller cases. So you'll want to think about that um, in your selection too. PSU form factor is another consideration for compatibility and airflow. The most common is ATX, used in standard mid and full tower builds, offering high wattage capacity and a wide selection of models. You also have SFX and SFXL. They are smaller form factors designed for compact or mini ITX cases. This is where space is limited. And then you have SFXL, which typically offers a larger fan for quieter operation while maintaining a compact footprint. TFX is a slim elongated form factor, which is usually used in low profile or OEM systems. Always verify your case's PSU clearance and mounting support, as choosing the wrong form factor can lead to fitment issues or airflow restrictions. So as I start to wrap up this video, I would like to share a, a story about a customer I had with a high-end gaming PC. The problem was it kept shutting down randomly and they thought it was the, either the GPU or the CPU, but it turned out the PSU was the culprit. When looking, it was a cheap 300 watt PSU and it simply just couldn't handle the load. So I ended up replacing it with a high end quality 650 watt PSU and the problem itself completely disappeared. So in conclusion, choosing the right PSU for your computer is crucial. Don't skimp on it. It's not worth the risk of damaging your hardware or dealing with system instability. Make sure you do your research and choose a PSU that's reliable, efficient, and has enough wattage to handle your system's need. To end, respect the PSU. It powers your performance. So if you've had any experiences with power supplies, good or bad, I'd love to hear about them in the comments. And if you're interested in learning more about PC components, be sure to check out my videos. Thanks ever so much for your time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.